I wanted to do just a quick video here about something strange that seems to be happening with one of my other videos. I, I did a video on Star Trek Picard, okay? Now, I'm a pretty die-hard Trek person. Until a couple of months ago, I watched multiple episodes of Star Trek a day. Now, so, I've been watching TOS, uh, oh dear. I guess it's midnight. It is midnight. Um, let me try a candle. There we go. Um, but you know, if you're going to do candle, that makes things sort of grainy, so maybe we could try like a mood lighting again. Ooh. Yeah, well, hang on. Ooh, that's interesting. I've been watching TOS, Voyager, and um, uh, TOS, Voyager, and TNG quite a lot, right? Then I added Enterprise to my till because it was easy to get. Um, Janine, stop drinking my coffee. Golly. Go, go, <laughs> go drink your water. No, go drink your water. Go to your, go to your bowl out there and drink your water. I've been really watching those three series a lot, and then I, I added Enterprise. Um, I don't think Enterprise is a very good show. Um, it's like, ultimately, I don't think Voyager is a great show. Uh, Voyager is better than Enterprise. Um, as far as Enterprise goes, I think everything after Damage is pretty good. Um, but... Um, I would consider myself a pretty hard uh, Trek person. I, so when it comes to New Trek, I don't know very many die-hard Trek people that actually like New Trek. Now, the reason for not liking it is usually pretty dull. Um, it's usually, well, um, you're taking the hopeful future aspect out of my Star Trek. And I would argue that Old Trek wasn't any more hopeful than the new stuff. Uh, you just have a weird way of seeing it. Um, there's always been a lot of conflict in these shows. Um, it just wasn't so dark. And in fact, I'd have to say that's probably the one thing that I do like about New Trek, is the darker storytelling. But, uh... So, and like I was saying, I did... I did two Trek videos, one on Discovery and one on uh, Picard. The Discovery video has hardly gotten any views. I mean, it's had like eight, seven or eight views since I put it up. The Star Trek Picard video, on the other hand, has had more like 20 or 30 since I put it up. And, um, that's a little bit weird. I, I would expect them to get about equal views. But the other thing that's weird is it has two dislikes and one like. So, is this show more well-liked than I think it is? Because if you go and you put into Google, Star Trek Picard, terrible you're going to see plenty of people saying, yeah, it's an absolutely terrible show. And from where I sit, it is a terrible show. It's terrible. Um, none, of, none of its, its uh, story arcs land in any season. Um, a, lot of the, a lot of its writing is there just to be nostalgic. In fact, I think if you take your nostalgia mind away from it, you'll just see that it's a very it's kind of a trash show. It's not great. Um, I will admit that, you know, as usual, uh, Patrick Stewart does very well in it. I'm not trying to say there's not some good acting in this show and stuff like that. Uh, but it is not a well-written show. Neither is Discovery. There are some great characters in Discovery. Saru is a great character in Discovery. Um, you know... 
uh, Arium is kind of a cool character, even though she doesn't get much screen time. Um, uh, uh, Stamets and Colbert are great characters. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to say there aren't some good characters in there, um, but I, I've, I've just always felt like the the people who who say that New Trek is great are looking at it from a very nostalgic point of view, right? Um, <clears throat> There, there, there are some great characters in season three of Picard, but season three of Picard is is it's just fan service, you know. Um, so I, I guess what I'm saying is is um, like, have I missed something here? Like, why are these shows? <laughs> Why, why suddenly do people really like Star Trek Picard? I mean, it's it's probably the worst of... of uh, and, try, and saying something is worse than Enterprise is... I mean, that's saying a lot. And again, I'm not talking about from an effects standpoint or anything like that. It has some very good effects in it. People tend to complain about the sets a bit. I don't particularly have a problem with that. People tend to complain about the darker storytelling of both Discovery and Picard, but I really quite, kind of like that. I like a good dark story. And you know that that the Federation and Starfleet would go through some very hard times, uh, you know. And again, if if you if you lax up your, your view of the older shows, I think you'll find that, that things were still tough back then. Um... You know, if anything, it's kind of messed up that Jim and the crew are kind of sitting around his chair laughing at the end of the episode when probably three or four people died in the episode, okay? Um, that's not always particularly good writing. There, there's, there's some examples of poor writing in the older shows, even. But... Um, in fact, one guy commented on the the Picard video, and he said he really enjoyed it. And I'm like, well, why? Why? Because I would say upon initial viewing, I kind of enjoyed it, too. Like, I watched every episode, and some episodes of Picard and even Discovery just had me sitting on the end, edge of my seat, okay? But after after I got done kind of watching them and sat there and sort of analyzed them and maybe rewatched the episode again, I just, you know, realized, after, after I took my goggles off, I just sort of realized that a lot of the episodes weren't that great. I have a relative who is sort of like that with shows. Um, and I would tend to think the people who are fans of Picard and Discovery just aren't very critical when it comes to television or movies. There are probably a lot of movies that they say they like and enjoyed and stuff like that that were just not great movies or TV shows. Um, again, just go put Star Trek Picard terrible into Google and you'll see plenty of people's reasons why they think that that is a terrible show. Do the same thing with Discovery and you'll you'll see why. You do that with any other Trek series, even Enterprise, and, and you'll see a lot more people defending it than, you know, down-talking it. Maybe not Voyager, maybe not Enterprise, but, you know, say, say DS9, uh, TOS and TNG, it's it's very hard to down talk those shows. They were great shows, um, and they were not upbeat all the time. Uh, I, I just it, it really bothers me that that people tend to make that claim about older Star Trek because it just is not it's not accurate. That's all. <laughs> it just isn't. Um, so. Uh, 
you know, if you guys could just, you know, kind of, you kind of put in the comments like, am 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 I am I and a lot of older Star Trek folks kind of missing something here? Because like I said I don't personally know anyone who like who like Discovery or or Picard. In fact, a lot of us tend to feel a lot of old school like hardcore Trek people tend to almost feel those two shows are unwatchable. Um, I, I, I said I hadn't watched them again, but I did, um, <clears throat> I did watch the episodes twice. I watched each episode twice. Uh, so it's not like I haven't technically rewatched it. I just did it in very close concession, you know, um, once with my, wow, this is new Trek goggles on, and then again to kind of, you know, further further analyze the show. Um, and that's kind of why I came to realize, like, how just bad, especially season three of Picard, just is... Yeah, um, just not great. The, the, the other thing that really bothers me about about Picard especially is there is literally no risk in anything. And I hate it when there's no risk in anything. All of the original Trek characters had were just covered in what they call plot armor. I mean, Worf got shot point blank by, you know, several Borg disruptors and he there it's like literally there were no repercussions. You know, probably anyone else would have died. Okay, um, Worf and Riker went off to sacrifice themselves, and you know, based on how most of the season had gone already, I I literally wasn't worried about them at all. Everybody made it out of that season just fine, you know. Even like I said, Data uh, came came back again and and made it through the episode just fine. Um, I, I cannot stand that. You know, we should have lost, we should, frankly, should have lost perhaps even a couple original, original characters. They were doing something very dangerous. And it just seems kind of, I'm struggling to find a word for it, but there, it just doesn't do a good service to, to the writing when, when, stuff like that happens. Uh, whereas on the other hand, a lot of the characters in Discovery were were quite disposable. Um, but you tended to know who was going to get, you know, done away with because they just didn't develop those characters at all. Um, but it, it is not, it is not the darker tone of New Trek that bothers me. It is just that, that it bothers me that they they can't seem to be set in their own canon. Um, like technically, Strange New Worlds is kind of in its own canon. It kind of takes play, place kind of previous to TOS. Discovery kind of was previous to TOS. Um, you know, uh, so. But it affected that timeline, so it's a, it's a little bit more guilty. Um, I, I just really wish they would set more of these shows in their own space in the narrative and, and not interfere with the other narratives. Um, so it's just really the way that they, they, they affect canon and cater to nostalgia too much. And I, I just feel like people who are all into these new Trek shows just are not really big Trek people. Like I said, I, I know a lot of Trek people. Um, you guys can go ahead and go and, uh, and watch another YouTuber named Steve Shives. He does a lot of Star Trek comment, commentary and, and reviews. And I don't remember him speaking very highly of Discovery or... Um, the card either. And, uh, thank you for sticking to the end of the video. If you did, um, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to grow. If 
you are going to dislike a video of mine, leave a comment as to why you disliked it. Uh, I get so few views as a channel that one dislike really affects my like-dislike ratio very heavily. So I feel like I, I need a chance to try and convince you to remove your dislike. Uh, if I were a bigger channel and I had a bajillion subscribers, one or two dislikes wouldn't be that big a deal. But, you know, I only have 137 subscribers currently, so... And, and my view, my, most of my videos get less than, you know, 50 views. So, you know, one dislike is a big deal. Anyway, everybody have a good night, uh, and uh, Goemon Ronin signing out.